Artemis, I received your message. I don't know what to say. How do you know the Atlas is telling the truth? I say I can't be sure. Artemis says, I know, I know you've been busy. I now know why. But I'd still like to see another traveler before I die. I'd still like to meet if we can, if that doesn't sound ridiculous considering the circumstances. I tell Artemis the truth. The same com Artemis, the same communication comes back to me permeated with static. The message, the intonation, everything about it is identical. I know, I know you've been, I'd still like to see another traveler, if that doesn't. I ask why they are repeating. Artemis, I know, I know you've been, I'd still like to see another traveler, if that doesn't. It is then that I realize <coughs> the noises, the static I've been hearing throughout my adventures. It's not interference, the corruption of long distance communication. How could it be we speak through the protocol of a dream? The noises, the sound of gzz, it's the sound of waking. It's the sound of everything falling apart. It's the final gasp. The death of the Atlas will not begin in 16 minutes. It began a long time ago. I say goodbye not knowing if Artemis can hear me. I don't even know what that means to hear me. We're all just data. Did they ever hear me? These glitches will happen more and more in the final days. Individuals caught in cycles repeating themselves, planets wiped from existence or changed overnight. All discoveries lost. I must journey on.
Okay, and that is the pristine Walker brain. That will have to go to Tethys. Iteration Tethys. Still alive, I see. That is a good start. Tethys is doing their best <coughs> to appear aloof and unconcerned, but it is clear to me they are struggling to contain their excitement. Before I can reply, they explode with questions. Did it work, Traveler? Tell me, did the drone live? Where has it led you? What have you learned? Um, I say the drone gave itself a name. A name? It gave itself a name? Hmm. That is unusual. That is beyond simple engineering, Tethys says. I should have looked more closely at those beads Polo gave you. That geck is always up to something. I say the drone is doing well. Tethys says, excellent, we've done well, done well indeed. Oh, I do wish I could see it, but I cannot leave this anomaly. And this anomaly is the one place the drone can never be. I reveal the pristine brain. Tethys says, I've seen a lot of these things in my time, Traveler, but never one so beautiful. And you say our drone friend told you to bring it to me. Remarkable. So we want this to go in your Minotaur. I like how you think, Traveler. Bring the heavy armaments to the fight against the Sentinels. There's a few vulnerabilities in these things. <coughs> Should be a simple enough job to bypass a few circuits. Yes, this won't take long. There, done. I've done the hard part for you and rewired the brain. This schematic should take you through the rest of the process. All right, so apparently I need a radiant brain. Tethys says, but traveler, this brain, it won't be enough. It needs something else something crimson I don't well look you'll find out soon enough the signature I've encoded in the brain will draw its attention head out into space you all know what to do fly well traveler oh it wants me to make contact with an atlas beacon message XF the Atlas beacon drifts through space impossibly silent and impossibly loud it knows I am here I present the hacked brain Alright, I get a radiant brain. Shifting nanite clusters sewn together with a pugnium filament. 
This circuit is painfully hot to the touch. The purple light that leaks from within its wiring has softened, as if it has become less hostile. Previously embedded within a sentinel walker, the semi-organic computer has been altered by both iteration Tethys and the messenger of the Atlas. Laylaps is delighted by the transformation of the Minotaur. There, Minotaur is not robot machine anymore. It is friend, or not friend, they can choose. Laylaps, I am so glad you agreed to help. Telemon, not Telemon. I ask who Telemon is. Laylaps is amused at my concern. Of course, you do not know, do you? Well, it does not matter. I'm glad we are friends. Bites chitter again with Laylaps shell. A hesitating, halting pattern. They appear to be considering something of importance. I will prove we are friends. Erase me from the pillar records. Attack the hive. Attack the sentinels with my blessing. Leave. We are a team.
Thanks again for watching.